The Tiger I is a German heavy tank of World War II that was employed from 1942 in Africa and Europe, usually in independent heavy tank battalions. Its final designation was Panzer Kampfwagen by Tiger Ostwaffen shortened to Tiger. The Tiger I gave the German army its first armored fighting vehicle that mounted the 8.8 cm KWK 36 gun. 1,347 were built between August 1942 and August 1944. After August 1944, production of the Tiger I was phased out in favor of the Tiger II. While the Tiger I has been called an outstanding design for its time, it was over-engineered, using expensive materials and labor-intensive production methods. The Tiger was prone to certain types of track failures and breakdowns, and was limited in range by its high fuel consumption. It was expensive to maintain, but generally mechanically reliable. It was difficult to transport, and vulnerable to immobilization when mud, ice, and snow froze between its overlapping and interleaf skate to loaf work pattern road wheels, often jamming them solid. This was a problem on the eastern front in the muddy Rasputitsa season and during periods of extreme cold. The tank was given its nickname Tiger by Ferdinand Porsche, and the Roman numeral was added after the later Tiger II entered production. The Tiger differed from earlier German tanks principally in its design philosophy. Its predecessors balanced mobility, armor and firepower, and were sometimes outgunned by their opponents. While heavy, this tank was not slower than the best of its opponents. However, at over 50 tons dead weight, the suspension, gearboxes, and other such items had clearly reached their design limits and breakdowns were frequent if regular maintenance was not undertaken. Although the general design and layout were broadly similar to the previous medium tank, the Panzer IV, the Tiger weighed more than twice as much. This was due to its substantially thicker armor, the larger main gun, greater volume of fuel and ammunition storage, larger engine, and a more solidly built transmission and suspension. The Tiger I had frontal hull armor 100mm thick, frontal turret armor of 100mm and a 120mm thick gun mantlet. The Tiger had 60mm thick hull side plates and 80mm armor on the side superstructure, while turret sides and rear were 80mm. The top and bottom armor was 25mm thick. From March 1944, the turret roof was thick into 40mm. Armor plates were mostly flat, with interlocking construction. The armor joints were of high quality, being stepped and welded rather than riveted and were made of marriaging steel. The 56 calibers long 8.8 cm KWK 36 was chosen for the Tiger. A combination of a flat trajectory from the high muzzled velocity and precision from Leeds terms Yelfenrohr TZF 9B site made it very accurate. The main problem with the Tiger was that its production required considerable resources in terms of manpower and material which led to it being expensive. The Tiger I cost over twice as much as a Panzer IV and four times as much as a Stug III assault gun. Partly because of their high cost, only 1,347 Tiger I and 492 Tiger II tanks were produced. The closest counterpart to the Tiger from the United States was the M26 Pershing and the IS-2 from the USSR, about 3,800 built during the conflict. Production of the Tiger I began in August 1942 at the factory of Henschelund Zone in Kassel, initially at a rate of 25 per month and peaking in April 1944 at 104 per month. An official document of the time stated that the first Tiger I was completed in August 4. 1,355 had been built by August 1944, when production ceased. Deploy Tiger I's peaked at 671 on July 1, 1944. It took about twice as long to build the Tiger I as another German tank of the period. When the improved Tiger II began production in January 1944, the Tiger I was soon phased out. Eager to make use of the powerful new weapon, Hitler ordered the vehicle to be pressed into service months earlier than had been planned. A platoon of four Tigers went into action on September 23, 1942 near Leningrad, operating in swampy, forested terrain, their movement was largely confined to roads and tracks, making a defense against them far easier. Many of these early models were plagued by problems with the transmission, which had difficulty handling the great weight of the vehicle if pushed too hard. It took time for drivers to learn how to avoid overtaxing the engine and transmission, and many broke down. 
The most significant event from this engagement was that one of the tigers became stuck in swampy ground and had to be abandoned, captured largely intact. It enabled the Soviets to study the design and prepare countermeasures. The 503rd Heavy Panzer Battalion was deployed to the Don Front in the autumn of 1942, but arrived too late to participate in Operation Winter Storm, the attempt to relieve Stalingrad. It was subsequently engaged in heavy defensive fighting in the Rostov on Don and adjacent sectors in January and February 1943. In the North African campaign, the Tiger I first saw action during the Tunisia campaign on December 1, 1942 east of Tebrev when three Tigers attacked an olive grove 5 kilometers west of Jadida. The thick olive grove made visibility very limited and enemy tanks were engaged at close range. The Tigers were hit by a number of M3 Lee tanks firing at a range of 80 to 100 meters. Two of the Lees were knocked out in this action. The Tiger tanks proved that they had excellent protection from enemy fire. This greatly increased the crew's trust in the quality of the armor. The first loss to an Allied gun was on January 20, 1943 near Robaa, when a battery of the British 72nd Anti-Tank Regiment knocked out a Tiger with their 6-pounder, 57mm, anti-tank guns. Seven Tigers were immobilized by mines during the failed attack on Beja during Operation Ox and Kopf at the end of February. In July 1943, Two heavy tank battalions took part in Operation Citadel resulting in the Battle of Kursk with one battalion each on the northern and southern flanks of the Kursk salient the operation was designed to encircle. However, the operation failed and the Germans were again put on the defensive. The resulting withdrawal led to the loss of many broken down Tigers which were left unrecovered, battalions unable to do required maintenance or repairs. On April 11, 1945, a Tiger I destroyed three M4 Sherman tanks and an armored car advancing on a road. On April 12, 1945, a Tiger I destroyed two Comet tanks, one half-track and one scout car. This Tiger I was destroyed by a Comet tank of A Squadron of the 3rd Royal Tank Regiment on the next day without infantry support.